when we talk to our customers, we find that most of the problems will fall within one of the six buckets. So first of all, if you have been recently, you know, adding some IoT devices, right, and trying to understand how you can use all of the streaming data to your advantage, or if you have some sort of quality control issues that you want to improve, we can apply some of what we call use cases around operational and process intelligence. Also, if you're in for customer, we know that in one way, sort of shape, you have some sort of equipment or assets. And if this go out down in production, it creates a tremendous impact to your business or you spend a lot of money, you know, on maintenance and, you know, trying to schedule things better so we can help you to optimize some of this scheduling activities or predict assets from failing so that you're more proactive about things versus being reactive. If we are talking about any business process, right, if you're trying to think into the future and we need to have some sort of forecasting coming in place, let's say you want to understand how many people do you need to have on the floor. On one side, you don't want to have too many, but on the other side, you don't want to be short staff so you can leverage on our forecasting intelligence modules for that. Or if we are talking about inventory, you want to make sure that you have inventory just in time so that we can predict the demand ahead of it and we can also optimize inventory that way. We are very proud to also take into consideration the customer insights, right? Some of the problems around the customers always retention, loyalty. So that's where machine learning can also come in handy to look at our customer base and predict certain risks. So again, we are more proactive versus reactive and we can spend time to be to other more value add activities that uh, will drive our sales force. Pricing on the other side, price drives demand. On one side, it's a you know, direct equation into your formula. On the other side, it will tell you how many you know, purchases you're gonna make. So given more suggestions of the prices, more visibility to the price and machine learning can also help. And last but not least, human capital intelligence. Human is the most valuable resources within our organizations. Probably some of you dealt in one way, shape or form through screening process, recruitment process. You know how long and lengthy this is and we can help with the machine learning algorithms in there. We can also help with predicting employee churn, so to make sure that you don't have to react to certain scenarios and actually can anticipate and prevent it from happening. So we use a lot of predictive, prescriptive analytics to make you, uh, to enable you to use all of your data and to be more efficient 